Hi Riff Lords, today we want to talk about a little bit how to sound like Adam Jones, the legend himself from Tool. So let's talk about a little bit about gear he uses. Obviously a Les Paul Custom, Silver Burst is uh, the legendary guitar of Adam Jones. I didn't have a Silver Burst, but I got my trusty old Les Paul Custom with also a big point of his sound is the Seymour Duncan pickup in the bridge. M wise he uses, as I know, um, some Marshall Super Bass, some um, Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifiers and of course some Diesel VH4s. Another iconic item of his sound is obviously Drop D Tuning. Let's go and listen to a little practice song I wrote for this tutorial. So let's take a look at the first technique we are using here for this kind of toolish riff or song. First step is of course some triplets paired with pull-offs and hammer-ons. In this concrete scenario I'm in drop D and now I'm just using my first three strings, so D, A, D and the movement is hammer-ons from three to five on each single string. Open, hammer on, open, hammer on. The right hand movement is just like this. And remember to palm mute, otherwise it wouldn't come across very well. So the right hand is doing this. And that's it. The rest comes from the fret hand, right? So slowly. That's the basic idea. Now Paul muted to get this percussion kind of sound. Typical Adam Jones technique. The second kind of style Adam Jones uses in his songwriting is droning notes. In this concrete scenario, since we are in drop D, you can use this D or this D of course to create some droning note riffs. Concrete idea is the melody just on the G string. Now we add the droning D and it will sound like this. You can also use the lower D, it's an octave lower. Another thing he adds to make the riffs more interesting, especially when you are the only guitar player in the band, are dissonant bands. So for instance, in this example, it's 12 on the G and 10 on the B string. Together they will sound like this. And now you, what you do, you start to bend the 12th fret up 
till it sounds lightly dissonant, you know? Another cool technique. Of course, the heavy riffage. Drop D allows you to build power chords just with one finger, but Adam Jones liked to extend this power chords. For instance, if you got a riff like in the demo song, kind of stuff. In case of just doing this, barring on the third fret, you can add the classical D shape to this chord, bar the whole thing and play all strings together. It will sound much more richer. Take a listen. Another cool trick, you can use this shape with all your basic drop D chords. Alright, another cool technique he often uses is at 9 chords. Nearly the same idea. You have your drop D power chord, just barring. You can add the note at the D string two frets away and it will sound like this typical at nine chords. Take a listen. adds more color to your sound. And last but not least, riffs without lined lead lines. So you can simulate the second guitar player if you are the only one in the band. Basic idea is like this. So now we play it in the way Adam Jones likes to play stuff like this. So, quick conclusion. Four tricks to sound like Adam Jones. One, pull-offs, hammer-ons. Two, droning open string sound scales or something. Three, heavy riffage with some at nine chords or this big open drop D chord. Last but not least, riffs played with outlined lead lines. So to simulate the second guitar player if you are the only one in a band and want to make sounds like huge guitar stuff, <laughs> I think. So, thanks for watching. Have fun with your guitar, subscribe to the channel if you like, leave a comment, tell a friend and as always take care of yourself and see you in the next one. Peace!